Hello everyone, today I'm going to make my first video and in on my channel I'm gonna do a lot of origami so I'm gonna teach you how to do one of my favorite origami projects well not really a project but or you know you know what I'm trying to say I'm gonna teach you how to make this okay so this is the origami crane in the origami world it's probably a level one out of three difficulty it's not that hard to make at all but I'm not the best teacher in videos that's all I'll say but I try so this is what it will turn out looking like and there will be a secret in the end that is really cool so you want to take a square piece of paper, it doesn't matter how big it is, but it has to be a complete square. I'm going to take a purple one, and a lot of you will probably have colored paper um, that is maybe two-sided, but mine is only one-sided with color. So I'm just going to do it how you show the color, basically. I'm going to show you how to do the color. So you want to take it like this. You want to fold it up. To where it's like a triangle and you want to crease it like this okay you unfold it you do it on the other side too now, i'll try not to go too fast but i know a lot of people are very fast at origami and i'm not as fast then so i'm gonna try to do it as fast as i can so it doesn't have to be too creased but you know it can be so you want to make sure that each side is the white side, not the purple side when you do this one. But on the other side, you want to flip it over. And then you want to take it and you want to um, fold it up until it's a rectangle. But you want the purple side to be showing this time. Otherwise, it will be hard to get it to look good and to fold it. So you want to also do it here. So you'll have sort of a, like, I don't know how to describe it. You'll have lines, like, going to each other. I'm guessing you would predict. So, like, this. Each way. Okay. So now you want to flip it back over to the, pur to the purple side, or to whatever side you're using. And so you want these lines to be facing downward, and you want these to be upward, if you know what I mean. You want to take it, you want to take it off the ground, you want to push these inward, okay, push these inward, take this, fold it down, and smash it together. Um, if some of you are confused, I'm going to do it again, so I'm, I'm just going to unfold it. For those of you who just did it, you don't have to unfold it, please don't. Um, so I take it, I push these in, it doesn't matter if you do it here or here, but you push these in and you want to fold it like that. You want to smash it together. Okay, so now you want to, you see this side with all the paper, like the paper's edges, not this side with the, where the paper is folded against each other. You want to take the side with all the paper that, you know, the paper's edges, and you want to fold it like this. Okay, fold it down like this. To where it's like a kite shape. Okay, and you want to turn it over, and you want to do the same thing against the same lines you just folded. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm a perfectionist, so I try to make it perfect. But then you fold this down. You want to crease it like that, and you unfold all of it. Like, not all of it, but, you know, until it's, like, this square shape. And then you flip it over, and you take this part, and you fold it back down again. Okay. So, and then you take this, you fold it up, and what I did the first time making this, when I was still a beginner, I took it, and I tried to basically open this part up, too, 
this back part. No, you want to leave that down. Okay, leave it down. Do not, do not open it up like that. Okay, so you basically want to. This is the white part here. You want to fold it back, and you want to crease it down. And it kind of lets itself crease down, but you have to help it a little bit. So, like that, until you have a rhombus shape. Um, with this here, once you do the next step, it will be a complete rhombus. Okay, and then you're going to do the same exact thing. I know this is the hardest part, but I got through it. You can too. Okay, everybody was a beginner once. So, you fold it like this. And as you can see, it's kind of lopsided, but I'm just going to fold it a little bit. You don't have to do this, but since I want mine to look the very best in the end of this video. <laughs> so now it's a rhombus on both sides, but it won't be like that for long. It will be this in a short amount of time. So now you want to take this part you see how it's kind of like this on the bottom and then not like that on the top you want to take the bottom part you want to open this part up and you want to take the bottom part and fold it upward okay and you want to fold this and then what I do it's kind of weird and hard to explain but how I keep it symmetrical is I basically have one line matching the other so there's like this line matching with this line. So it keeps symmetrical. You don't have to do that, but I do, so just so it's easier for me. And then you do the same exact thing on the other side. And if I'm doing this too fast, you can pause the video whenever you want and re and rewatch it. So you take this part next. You take one side, whichever side you like. It doesn't matter. You take one of these and you fold it down to make a beak. And you want to crease it like that. So you see the beak? Okay. And then you fold. These are the wings, so you want to fold it down. You don't want to fold it like this. Definitely not, otherwise it will not be able to do the really cool thing. So you fold it like that. Okay. I always match it where this triangle part touches the neck, between the neck, the triangle where the neck and the wing other wing meat but this the triangle won't be there for much longer because we're going to fold this one down too so you fold this one down as well and so the wings are like touching each other the wing tips so it's symmetrical so now you take it and you want to fold back the wings so it's like this and it's pretty much done I just gotta show you how to work it so same all of these are the same. Now, here's the cool part. You take, you hold it here by the um, the front of it, this part. Then you hold the tail, and the direction the tail is going, you want to pull it up that direction, like this. And then the wings flap. Now you want to do it very gentle, so you don't rip it or break it. So, yeah, this is the really cool part. All of them do it. If you did it right, it should do it like this. So, yeah, there's one more part I want to show you in this video. To make it stand up, you can see that these are not standing up. All these ones, you know, they're just laying. But... I didn't exactly want to make them stand up just so I could use them to show you how to do this. There is a few ways to make it stand up. Um, this is the normal way. You take, you flip it upside down, you kind of fold it outward, and so it has kind of like a little platform on both ends. But the reason I don't like doing that is because it can't flap right if you do that, and you have to unfold it. But it does stand if you just want to make it stand like that. But how I usually do it is I just leave the back kind of, you know, open. And I do the front too. So kind of like that. 
and it still flaps. See? So I'll leave it open kind of like that and not like flat together, just kind of open. And then I also do it to the front too. And you see the beak kind of gone, but you want to squeeze that together again so it's one. And then you set it down and it stands. So I hope this video helped you and I hope I didn't go too fast or anything. But if you need to watch it again, go right ahead. I just, I want to teach you because this is like my dream to teach you how to do origami on my channel. So I hope this video helped you and that's it. Thanks for watching.